and this kind of like some flower they look re red so it will be look very cool and i guess which is this uh, these are enough okay if i enable and if i show you with a painting and make sure always give it a landscape don't give it a pp or static so if i plant it it will be uh, under some time it will be rendered and you'll be see that how it will be look cool okay so this is basically kind of like a automatic and it will be look crazy looking great as you can see with just you know, one hand press it's really looking very cool so let's add some basic stuff and i'm going to give it some bit like this so this will be basically our uh, the lake area so that's why uh, basically the river that's why in the near of the river i'm uh, adding like this foliage which is basically going to be cover up this area and also this area too so basically i'm using this as a cover up area uh, i said it uh, also give it the beside of the river because i think it will be look great that's why you can change it by yourself also uh, or depends on your needed okay like in the maybe in the riverside area what you can do you can uh, remove uh, all of this okay like this with uh, pressing by us you can remove them really goodly so i don't know why it's not changing real time it should be changing the real time okay so here we can basically increase or i guess we can yeah we can really be increase the this high volume one and we can give this uh one or even you can give maybe one or two of them so it will be work great as well so like this i want this This doesn't matter too much if there's some flower in the river inside of the river but look this is really great see? nice okay so we have the basic uh, one the outlooking one so you can see that actually now it's looking okay then uh, we also going to be because this after this area I leave it because this area I'm going to first uh, plan them the house and after the, the house planted or the turn design then I'm going to basically put the other side of the wheel okay and also first i need to make the uh, the river bridge then i'm going to work on the second step so always try to do by basic like first make the main structure that the river crossing the second my point is making some structure at here and i will create a ground at here so play or kind of like a small bazaar okay uh, depends on the environment so like this uh, at this uh, point you can add a start uh, player location which will help you to spawn the player at the right location because some of cases the by default unreal engine give you the you know uh, the basic player so you can play with that uh, if you choose a third person you can go to gamers pp third person choose click on play will be maybe take a loads and boom here is our third person so as you can see it's really look very nice okay now let's start designing the stuff okay and here because the asset pack has been the fantasy uh, wall pack has been added we can go to the meshes and here boom we have everything that we need so this is basically the structure that it's have and i know it's really have very cool cool cool, cool really cool assets that i'm going to use so first I need a bridge so uh, it doesn't have really a accurate bridge so I'm going to use this kind of like uh, meshes and I'm going to create by my own bridge so I'm basically going to reuse it and just make by my own okay I'm going to make it a thick group okay we have our basic the, the basic bridge and i first will create something like this then i will rotate it later so then i need something like this okay this like structure which is uh help to make it or uh, make it more reliable that okay it's actually uh you know depending on something not just uh flying okay you can make something like this uh this uh this look shape is also look very cool okay 
like this this okay and we can add one more like this and then you can add one more but you can rotate it like this oh maybe i also uh, rotated it some wrong uh, it should be like this oh the pure point is some i guess this uh, this structure have some pure point issue okay no issue uh, first then we'll be remove this thing or maybe i did something wrong so i'm just checking right now i'm gonna go take and just rotate it and oh i mistakenly remove this one so i'm going to add that I will make it some bigger that it can be reachable okay look like this structure is okay maybe I did something that it's rotated okay now cool and I'm going to join them so in a one way I'm going to do the work And I'm going to do the same thing for the uh, right side as well. So I don't need to do the same thing again. So I just will be just with some little adjustment and it will be work. Like this. Okay. And it, it will be really look good right now you can see. And lastly I'm going to make it structure like this and join them copy and give it like this and perfect so now you can see that we have our stuff and now maybe some of cases this uh, pieces maybe don't require so I'm going to remove this one this one well this one well so otherwise all look really okay to me now save this thing and now we can give it test like how uh, we can able to walk on of this yes we are easily can walk on this as you can see it's really behaving like a bridge which is really good okay so we have now our small bridge that we need it and then now we can basically our have our main structure now we can basically join it together so we can then easily rotate it how we want And I'm going to join them so as you can see it's now in a master class some of pieces are yes okay now we can give a rotate so like this I can now easily rotate how I want without any issue we can adjust now this structure like this see that's how that's why I said now if you try to get, do the same thing from the uh, the first uh, time it will be really harder for you to do this thing okay because now we did it so it's now not mm, much harder okay the second for this kind of like thing we can basically follow the asset pack like now I need a reverse so I will check first what kind of stuff he is used so as you can see it's just a basic plane which is available in the tropical packs as mesh so the first thing always review the asset pack that what they give and why they give then develop things so now it's I know that I don't need to create any mesh I know that it's on a water splash so as you can see I have easily now so which I'm going to use right now 
so I'm going to uh, increase that to 10 I, I think that 10 is okay for that so 10 by 10 10 by 10 by 10 uh, look good to me but I guess I need more so let's give 50 but it will be really look very heavy it will be make this thing heavy so I guess this thing is okay uh, also I'm going to change the water rotation to this so it will be look more realistic okay now what I need is basically I need to make sure that how I'm designing it should be match this plane okay so like this it should be match this graph uh, I need to keep it in mind so 20 I guess it's cool with this thing it will be not look very big or small and the river will also look full so I need one more okay this will look okay to me let's give it a try so if you go to play and we can see the river which is really good okay so yeah so this is the basic thing that we need and it's it's looking great also now I need to check the basic fantasy bundle and let's see the castle cave village uh, castle and cave and there's a uh, village so there are some two type of uh, I'm going to go to the village one because in the village one I will find that structure that I can copy easily and I can basically join them and just make the model okay I'm not going to uh, redesign the whole model actually okay as you can see now they have already made this thing so I'm going to just use those house so for using those house I'm going to just make it uh, like this thing or even you can do the selection system as well but I'm going to use like this because the, this is a modular pieces it will be some harder to find all the meshes so I need to maybe click multiple time to find this thing or select this thing and I need to make sure that I choose all of the angle model that I need with this model and once you think that you have this thing you can just rotate it and just move it and you can give a check that do you have all the things or not that you need so look like I have I just don't need these pieces so I'm going to join that and boom I have now my first model okay which I needed okay the second thing I can use this one uh, look like this and this are totally same okay but it just looks some different I'm not sure but to be honest I just look the same so I'm going to just use this one then and because uh, to be honest this aspect is really easy uh, because you can see that uh, it's already the meshes are really big and uh, more good thing is how they design it uh, it's already have the all the thing and the meshes basically like this structure uh, is easy to select because they used basically very big pieces to combine this make or making this thing that's why okay cool I have this thing now I'm going to join that and I choose this uh, sphere for a different reason so you can see that what I missed right now I missed this part join 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 okay now these two parts are okay to me uh, it's really look 
okay or even it's enough for me to use it to be honest but I'm going to also use this part as well okay look okay to me uh, for testing purpose I'm going to move it and going to check what I missed so I missed some of the structure aha uh -huh. I'm not sure what happened okay so basically this was in a group actor I guess and I just combine them and that's what I miss this door combine this rooftop combine and this side uh, should be a like this okay cool I guess I have this enough three models that I'm going to use so I'm going to now use them so for using them I'm going to just copy select and select and just copy it and I'm going to go in my map and at here I'm going to create a folder and instead of the folder I'm going to paste them all so now to be honest I have all of those assets so I'm going to drag and drop in the folder and minimize it and boom here is I have all of my three houses that I need and now you can see I don't need to do enough really hard work to set up them so first um, uh, house uh, this house I'm going to set up at here and the last one I'll give it here And there's a one more now I'm going to combine them and make it another variant just I'm going to move it something like this We know we just created we are creating a simple village nothing else okay look cool we have basically our small village that we need and it's a enough thing so now like this stuff we can remove those parts so which we think that we don't need like I think I should don't uh, use those parts so it's really look weird and 
save this thing and let's see okay look okay to me now I'm going to again use this foliage stuff for the foliage system and this time I'm going to trim this tool like this and with this one like with this variant now with the tropical slash meshes oh sorry with the foliage I'm going to use the, the trees like uh, the coconut trees the palm tree okay like this and maybe some of cases this variant okay now if I click on plant maybe also I need to disable this thing because I don't need I guess and one more thing at here I need to enable them all and just disable this thing oh enable all just disable this and boom so now it will be take a uh, wait for the render and let's see how it's render okay isn't like isn't that looking too much foliage at uh, one place yeah i'm thinking too so for fixing because you know it's a tropical pack so they set up like the earth so i'm going to now choose the trees and make the their value to 0 0.5 or 0 0.1 and now plant okay now it will be look cool and for this thing for removing extra this kind of like thing I'm going to remove some of those thing and yeah because it's an arranged village so I can keep it like this not too much and for the tree I'm going to replant it again so it will be look okay and as you can see I guess these grasses so this not look good even eventually so I'm going to remove them all oh. I really give very big okay it's look okay to me now lastly I'm going to disable all of this and just enable the tree so now I can feel my tree needs that I want to set it here and don't forget that I enable this thing too so it will be look great now so that's what I mean that first we'll be plant those tree at here and once this thing will be turned then we'll be to our second step which is basically planting those one the big trees because they do some problem I always see I'm just trying to put a random variant like should be look good okay now it's look good really nice now to be honest if I give a work 
I will see that it's have really have enough thing that I can discover I can go with and you know I can enjoy the village like this with a full nature full village and because it's have physics so it should really look cool okay okay because there is still a uh, process process a uh, volume available and lots of thing and the mainly the ground okay now about the ground let's come to the ground stuff okay i guess this will be will be doing in the next video so for now this is enough for today next part i will show you to do more okay thank you so much for watching guys see you in the next video bye bye